I'm gonna go harvest some thyme in Bobcha's garden. I know it's winter, but I think it actually still is good. So we're gonna cut a bunch. Let's see here. Oh yeah. Okay, we just harvested our thyme right here. We got a whole bunch of mushrooms. Some white mushrooms. A little garlic. Shallots. Some shimmaji mushrooms. Uh, and some oysters. Oh, I got this. And some fruminis. Yeah, so I use four different types of mushrooms, some herb butter, and a little bit of extra virgin olive oil with some roasted garlic. And you take that, put it on a crostini, melt some brie over it, good to go. Four mushrooms, I got 500 grams of cremini, 500 grams of white button mushrooms, 500 grams of oyster mushrooms, and 150 grams of shijimi mushrooms. I'm going to commission my son to help me clean them. You want to open them up for me? Uh, yeah, you want Alright, good job. There you can put that in this one. I did it! Okay, cool. Oh yeah. I'm on the beach. <laughs> this is so cool. How did you do this? You can buy these mushrooms. Yeah, perfect. So big. Put them into the sink. We're going to turn the water on. And we're going to just give them a wash. Swish it around. Both hands. Mix it around. Ready? Okay. Thanks, dude. We're gonna try and do it. So the party that's coming up is for that little girl's baptism. Wish I took the video is not going as planned. Because we had to stop to play with children. Get back to the video. I think I only need two for this recipe, but I'm gonna use three just because. So we're gonna start by taking off all this papery stuff. Just like that. Take your garlic. Chop a quarter inch off. Just a little bit open. A little bit open, right? Gonna go in the middle of the foil. Bottle of olive oil. Okay, wrap this up. Going into the oven, 400 degrees, for about half an hour. Check it on a half an hour, and then if it needs more, leave it a little bit longer. Okay, we're gonna chop some mushrooms. You can get it paper thin. It's kind of ideal. All right. So one thing I just learned right now, talking to Cash's mom, is that Cremini mushrooms apparently in Poland are known as the garbage mushroom. And they're always on sale and uh, cheap. I don't know why that is. It's a very good mushroom. But uh, if anyone can verify that, and let me know if that's a real thing. Ah, they're considered old, which is weird because it's kind of like midway through their life. So a white button mushroom is the youngest. A cremini mushroom is midway into its life. And then these turn into portobellos. So this, this, and a portobello are all the same mushroom. 
just in different stages of their life. This one's good. This one's good. We'll just uh, give them a quick clean and then good to go. So oyster mushrooms are quite common in Canada. They definitely look like that. Don't need them move. All we need to do is take these and we're going to peel them. And they go lengthwise and you can just, just strips. We got a bunch of String it comes from this into a bunch of strips. Strings, whatever. Okay, finished our oyster mushrooms. Shreds. Now we're gonna do our shajimis. Just cut the bottoms off. Make sure there's not a lot of dirt. Put that aside. And then you just peel these ones like this. Tato, excuse me. Is it ready? I must go bathe the children, so I have to put a pin in this mushroom thing for a second. Be right back! So after two hours of bathing and getting the kids ready for bed, I can start on the mushrooms again. Yeah. But first, let's go see how that garlic is. Oh, it's roasty and toasty in there. Look at that caramelization. Smell of roasted garlic is amazing. It's everywhere. Let's try it. We're going to take shijimi mushrooms and we're just going to peel them. Same idea as the oyster mushrooms. Glaze this later on with a little Pinot Grigio. Moldova, of all places. Boil into the pan. Yeah, we're just gonna sear off the mushrooms. I'm gonna do the cremini's and white button mushrooms first. And then I'll do the oyster and chicken and test them at the top. And just a note, if you are not browning your mushrooms a little bit, that is what you're doing. You're wasting your flavor. So what we're doing is don't crowd the pan. Ooh, look at that guy. Yummy. Pat of butter, and that'll help the brown. And then I'll deglaze with some of that pinot grigio. See, the mushrooms are starting to get a little bit of a good golden color on it. That's what you're looking for. And that'll give that nice earthy flavor.
care of that equation. that into a paste. And we're going to use that for our butter. Oh, I turned them into a couple of shallots. These are full of shallots. Look at that. In comparison to my hand. That is a big, big shallot. You may just use the one shallot, who knows? We'll see. kitchen I could deal with it better. I don't know why. <sighs> Son of a... We're going to pick off a shallot. One shallot. Yep, yeah, unsalted butter. I don't think it's a secret. I don't want to burn the butter. Use time when you take a piece out. Wrap it around, tie it, and then you have a little bouquet. Roasted garlic puree, and a little bit of water on the back. Season. So I sell all these mushrooms back in. I think our time's time is up. Dad jokes are the best. Parsley, not too much. You don't want it to taste just like parsley. Yeah, this is gonna be a great mixture. Oh yeah, baby. That's amazing. Mm. It's so earthy, buttery. Bit of that fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. I think everybody's gonna love this tomorrow. I know I do. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna bake some crostinis. I see everybody likes this. If I don't eat it all first. Juju, always taking care of your sister, right?
Mushroom Crostini's <laughs> were all done. And that's the final product. Melted Brie with mushrooms. We'll see if Mama likes it. So we just had my daughter's baptism, and this is a spread that we have. And of course, it's full share, so, so that's not all of it. Hey, baby. <laughs> the priest has arrived. We're plating mushrooms. See how everybody likes it after this. So far, good ratings, good ratings. Exactly, look at that. Oh, pro. <laughs> Christine. 